IQ is made possible in part by Wing to Wing Foundation. Today, these two teams, Ironton High School from Ironton, Ohio, and Lawrence County High School from Louisa, Kentucky, compete on today's HiQ. From the Cool TV studio, here's the host of HiQ, Ernie Anderson. Thank you, and great day. Lovely Carol Merrill, and our vast North American viewing audience. Thank you very much, and welcome to the show here on the Tri-State CW. We're going to begin the warm-up round. All the questions are worth 10 points apiece. And Ironton and Captain Jones, we will start with you. It's a math question. Of the numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 8, which are divisors of 56? So of those five numbers, six numbers, which are divisors of 56? Give you 10 points if you know. If they happen to miss it, Lawrence County, you'll get a chance to steal, so you'll be thinking as well. And Jones? Um, eight, four, and two. Are correct. Good points. 10 points. Now, your math question. Regis runs a lap in 90 seconds. If he ran four laps, how many minutes would it take him? And you're working as well in case it would come over to you. We can have a quicker response. So we're looking for Regis running a lap in 90 seconds. Six. If he ran four laps, how many minutes would it take him? Mallory? Six. 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 Yeah, speak up for me. Good job. Now, I'll stay with you for a country's former names question. I'll give you its former name. You give me its current name. Formosa. Germany. Not Germany. So, uh, Jones, you can steal that. Bermuda? No, it's Taiwan. But up to you for your countries by former names question. I'll give you its former name. You give me its current name, Swaziland. Jones? India? No. Mallory? Switzerland? It's Eswatini. I think I had that for lunch today. <laughs> Crafts is your question now, Ironton. <coughs> what is the name for the form of textile produced using knotting techniques? Leather or fabric belts and friendship bracelets are created using this method. Materials include cords made of cotton, twine, linen, hemp, jute, leather, or yarn. Now I'm looking for a seven-letter word beginning with M. Jones? Mending. No. Mallory? Making. It's macrame. But your crafts question now, Mallory and team. Also called French embossing. This is a popular technique developed during the mid-1800s. It's still widely used today, comprising the techniques of creating art on the surface of glass by applying acidic, caustic, or abrasive substances. I'm looking for a seven-letter word beginning with E. Etching. Etching is right. Good job. A little more volume, if you please. And you're up to 20 points now. And I'll stay with you for an audio question now. Artists' names change from time to time. Alicia Beth Moore started out as a member of a girl band named Choice at age 14. She released her first solo single at age 21. She took her stage name from a character in Quentin Tarantino's 1992 film, Reservoir Dogs Listen, and named this first hit and the artist. So two answers. All you're doing is playing in my game Don't you know that game's a big game So your best bet is to be straight with me So he say you wanna talk, let's talk If you won't talk, I'll walk Yeah, it's like that I got a new man, he's waiting out back Now what did you think about that? Now, Mallory, who is that and what's the name of the song? Talk, Alicia Keys No? If you know uh, Jones, you can pick up 10 and tie the score at 20, perhaps Mr. Pink? No, it's Pink, and the song was There You Go. But I have your audio question now. Paul David Hewson teamed up with three schoolmates to form a band in 1976. He's rarely seen in public with sunglasses due to a uh, 25-year history of glaucoma, making his eyes extremely sensitive to light. Here's the band's biggest hit, which spent three weeks at number one in 1987. Give me this lead singer's stage name. Listen. Slide of hand and twist of face On a bed of nails she makes me wait And I wait without you 
Who is it, Jones? Sting. No? Mallory? You, you two? I need the singer's name. Bono. Bono is right. So you pick up another 10. That brings you to 30 to 10 after our first round of play. The bonus round ensues when Haiku returns. Kick off your tailgate gathering this season with a party tray from Food Fair. Try any one of our deluxe meat and cheese trays, 26-piece chicken tender trays, or traditional or spicy wings trays. We have finger sandwiches with classic spreads like mini croissant trays and Hawaiian sliders. Our Fiesta bean dip is fast becoming a fan favorite. And don't forget our fresh veggie and fruit trays with all your catered sides. Start your game day with Food Fair. Food Fair, where convenience and quality meet. For those on the go, the smoothie connoisseur, the break room favorite, and for those that just never quite have it all, Clark's has what you need to keep your day on track, make life easier, and keep your busy schedule moving forward with everything you need at Clark's. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. Chris, I think people see our commercials and they want us to tone it down. Oh, like everybody else. I'm on TV showing you a row of cars. Low prices. Cars have outsides and insides. Explosions. Families with a dog. <laughs> price, price, price for families and a dog. Fireworks. And look at this dollar sign. Eh, maybe not. Right now at Dutch Miller Kia, get a 2023 Sportage starting at just $269 a month. The views are breathtaking. The experience is hands-on. The instruction is personal. The programs are nationally ranked. The atmosphere is welcoming. It's all here. All in one unique place at Moorhead State University, all to help you soar higher. Thank you and uh, welcome back to IQ. After our first round of play, it's a 30-10 score in favor of Lawrence County. So, Jones, team captain for Ironton, the Fighting Tigers. Have they fought well this year thus far? Uh, yeah, it's a lot of good people at the school. Like most of our teams do really well, and a lot of spirit. What uh, are you guys involved in otherwise? Besides uh, quiz bowl. A lot of us are in band on the team. I play tennis. Me and Annika play tennis, and but everybody else plays is in the band. When, when you play tennis, do you get in the swing of it? <laughs> Anybody ever giving you a backhand? <laughs> That's all I know about tennis. Um, what do you? You're in the band. Uh, I'm not in the band. Oh, you're in the band. Yeah. What do you play? And drumline. Drumline. They were always in trouble at my school, Man yeah. High School in Logan <laughs> County, West Virginia. Anybody else? Oh, I'm in the band. In the band. All right. What do you play? Clarinet. Clarinet. That's what I was going to play. <laughs> and then the guy says, your mouth's more suited for a tuba. Oh, tell us uh, about your school, where it is, your approximate enrollment, if you know your coach here today with you, and if you want to give a shout out to the uh, principal. Uh, yeah, we're in Ironton, Ohio, just middle of the tri-state have about 400 some kids in the class in the school and our coach is Miss Glykoff favorite math teacher at the school and uh, our principal is Mr. Harrison had you missed the math question you'd have been in trouble so you got that all right now Mallory tell me about Lawrence County's Bulldogs um, our Bulldogs are doing really good this year our football team just beat Belfry so that was a big deal for us and uh, tell us about your school, where it is and so forth. Uh, Lawrence County High School is in Louisa, Kentucky, and we have about 730 enrolled. Your principal? Myron Brady. And your coach? Uh, Mr. Colin McCoy. Colin McCoy <laughs> over there. Well, welcome, everybody. We're uh, glad you've come this season to uh, our Q show. And we're going into the bonus round now. I will explain that uh, the B team, in this case Lawrence County, will get the first clue to an answer. It's a 15-point clue. Then if they're not sure, they can skip to the 10-point clue. Still not sure, skip to the 5-point clue. Whichever one they get right, they go to the second part of the bonus. Game shows. And here's your 15-point clue. Ashland, Kentucky native Chuck Woolery hosted this from 1984 to 1990 
and a reboot in 1993 based on a board game of the early 50s. Catch-22. Ten-point clue? What'd you say? What was your, did you give me an answer? Yeah. What was it? Uh, catch-22. No, not catch-22. So you can steal the 15 points, move on to the bonus round if you know. Just, okay. Any guess in that game show? No answer. Audience, do you know? Mm -hmm. It's Scrabble. So no points on that one. We'll come to you, uh, Ironton and Jones, for a name the state 15-point clue. This is the 20th largest U.S. state, lies partly in the Great Plains near the geographic center of the 48 contiguous states, with its highest peak being Black Mesa. Again, if they're not sure, they can skip to the 10-point clue. We want to get to the 10-point. All right, ESPN called its capital the center of the softball universe, specifically referring to the fast-pitch version in a 2020 story. It annually hosts the Women's College World Series, the 18 final round of the NCAA Division I softball tournament. And again, if they're not sure, five-point clue is up for grabs. We like to go with Kansas. No, that's incorrect, so you can steal for 10 if you know. Um, can we have the 10 point clue or the that, five that was, point No, clue? you can't have the five point clue. Try to trick um, an old man. That's a good okay. try, Mallory. But uh, Montana. No, it's Oklahoma. I would have eventually said name the state bordered by Texas on the south and west, Kansas on the north, Missouri on the northeast, Arkansas on the east, New Mexico on the west, and Colorado on the northwest. But we didn't get to that part. All right, Museum Cities is your 15 point clue now. This city, colloquially referred to as the Venice of the North, due to the large number of canals which form a UNESCO World Heritage Site is the home of the Rikes Museum. Looking for a city. Ten point clue. Ten pointer is it became one of the most important ports in the world during the Dutch Golden Age of the 17th century. Uh, the five point. Five pointer name is capital and most populous city of the Netherlands. No answer. No answer? Uh, Jones, you can take the five points if you know. Amsterdam. Amsterdam is correct, and you pick up the points for that. Now, your 15, 10, 5, it's on states. Here's your 15-point clue. This northeastern state is the least densely populated state east of the Mississippi. We like to go to 10 points. Okay, it's known for its rocky coastline, maritime history, and nature areas like the Granite and Spruce Islands of Acadia National Park. Maine. Maine is right for 10. And you'll go to our final bonus, and it is on initials. I'll give you the initials. You tell me what they stand for. For five points, EPA. Is it, is it our? Yeah, it's your, your question. Environmental Protection Agency. Is right. Now for 10 more, FAA in aeronautics. Answer? Flight Aeronautics Association. No, Mallory, you can take the 10. Federal Aeronautics Association? No, it's Federal Aviation Administration. <coughs> but that ends that round, 35-30. Good game brewing, and that is the end of our bonus round. Our 60-second categories coming up are under, then over, people, math, and 10-letter words when Q returns. For those on the go, the Smoothie Connoisseur, the break room favorite, and for those that just never quite have it all, Clark's has what you need to keep your day on track. Make life easier and keep your busy schedule moving forward with everything you need at Clark's. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. The views are breathtaking. The instruction is personal. The experience is hands-on. The programs are nationally ranked. The atmosphere is welcoming. It's all here, all in one unique place. All to help you soar higher.
Kick off your tailgate gathering this season with a party tray from Food Fair. Try any one of our deluxe meat and cheese trays, 26-piece chicken tender trays, or traditional or spicy wings trays. We have finger sandwiches with classic spreads like mini croissant trays and Hawaiian sliders. Our Fiesta bean dip is fast becoming a fan favorite. And don't forget our fresh veggie and fruit trays with all your catered sides. Start your game day with Food Fair. Food Fair, where convenience and quality meet. Stop wishing you were debt free. Start consolidating. Members Choice Credit Union is committed to helping you take control of your finances this new year. And all it takes is a personal loan. Imagine one monthly payment at a great interest rate. Stop worrying about debt. Start taking control of your finances. Consolidate your debt today with the help of your credit union family at Members Choice. Visit us online at mccu.net. Thank you and welcome back to the wonderful show we call Q here on the Tri-State CW. I've announced the categories for our 60 second rounds. They are under, then over, people, math, and 10 letter words. Now Mallory, you're down by five, which means you get to pick first. Which of those four would your team like? 10 letter words. 10 letter words. Okay. Start the clock. Person with a body mass index of 27 is considered this. Overweight. Uh huh. The size of the obelisk in Washington, D.C., honoring George Washington. Skip. Sigma Chi is one of these organizations. Fraternity. Uh huh. To pass off someone else's writing as your own. Plagiarism. Uh huh. The synonym for basic is used to describe a type of school. Primary. I'll take that. This adjective means winding or like a snake. Coiling. No. Big like an encyclopedia that fills many books. The source. No. From the Latin for stunned, it's a colossal amount or just plain great. Amazing. No, it's the oxygen carrying pigment in red blood cells. Hit and time it. goes off before you can answer. Now, uh, I can't give you the number five. I, I gave it to you to begin with, but uh, that's incorrect. So I'll come back to you now. And 10 letter words the size of the obelisk in Washington, D.C., honoring George Washington. Skip. It's on monumental. The synonym for basic is used to describe a type of school. Elementary. Elementary is the ten letters. This adjective means winding or like a snake. Slithering. It's serpentine. Big like an encyclopedia that fills many books. Skip. Voluminous. From the Latin for stunned, it's a colossal amount or just plain great. Answer, stupendous. It's the oxygen carrying pigment in bl red blood cells. Hemoglobin? Yeah, you had it, but just after the buzzer. So you picked up uh, one of theirs. So that brings you to another uh, 10 points, bringing you to 45. Which of the remaining categories is your pleasure? Uh, we'll go with math. We're gonna go with math, all right. <coughs> Start, are you ready with the clock? Start the clock. What's the intersection of a line and a plane called? Point. Right. What's the name of the result obtained by adding two numbers together? Sum. Uh huh. What does 10 raised to the sixth power equal? One million. Uh huh. What is the product of three to the fourth power times two squared? Twenty. No. What's the polynomial having three terms called? Trinomial. Uh-huh. What is the greatest common factor for the numbers 24 and 40? Eight. Uh-huh. What is the cube root of 1728? 24. No. How many square feet of area does a three-foot cube contain? Nine. No. What's the radius of a circle whose equation is x squared plus y squared equals 25? Five. Right. And time runs out. We don't get to the tenth one. You picked up six of those. That'll bring you to 105. All right, this on the ones they missed or passed on, Mallory, what's the name of the result obtained by adding two numbers together? 
That was, that was you got that. All right. What is the product of 3 to the fourth power times 2 squared? 148. It's 324. What is the cube root of 1728? 356. It's 12. Uh, how many square feet of area does a three-foot cube contain? 27. No, it's 54. So you didn't pick up any of those. So um, at the end of the round, did I give you your points? You scored uh, Lawrence County, one, two, three. So you got another 30, brings you to 60, to 105. After our 60-second round, we'll be back to stump the experts when High Q returns. Chris, I think people see our commercials and they want us to tone it down. Oh, like everybody else. I'm on TV showing you a row of cars. Low prices. Cars have outsides and insides. Explosions. Families with a dog. <laughs> price, price, price for families and a dog. Fireworks. And look at this dollar sign. Uh, maybe not. Right now at Dutch Miller Kia, get a 2023 Sportage starting at just $269 a month. For those on the go, the Smoothie Connoisseur, the break room favorite, and for those that just never quite have it all, Clark's has what you need to keep your day on track. Make life easier and keep your busy schedule moving forward with everything you need at Clark's. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. The views are breathtaking. The instruction is personal. The experience is hands-on. The programs are nationally ranked. The atmosphere is welcoming. It's all here, all in one unique place. All to help you soar higher. Kick off your tailgate gathering this season with a party tray from Food Fair. Try any one of our deluxe meat and cheese trays, 26-piece chicken tender trays, or traditional or spicy wings trays. We have finger sandwiches with classic spreads like mini croissant trays and Hawaiian sliders. Our Fiesta bean dip is fast becoming a fan favorite. And don't forget our fresh veggie and fruit trays with all your catered sides. Start your game day with Food Fair. Food Fair, where convenience and quality meet. Welcome back to High Q here on the Tri State CW, where it's 115 to 60 in favor of Ironton, but I have several points available. 20 point questions now in Stump the Experts and Ironton and Jones. Captain, we will start with you on a visual question. The Lady in Wait Waiting, a 1656 painting in the Museo de Prado in Madrid by the leading artist of the Spanish Golden Age. I want you to give me the Spanish name of this work of art or the artist. Dore? No. It's always good to guess. It might be right. Mallory? Michelangelo. Say again? Michelangelo. No, it's uh, Las Meninas and Diego Valasquez. But you're a visual question now. Militia Company of District 2, under the command of Captain Franz Bonnick Koch, also known as the Shooting Company of Franz Bonnick Koch and Willem de Rutenberch, but commonly referred to as what Rembrandt work of art? The Fighting Men. No, it's a good guess. Ironton? No answer. It's the night watch. Back to you for a bacteria question now. Individual bacteria can assume one of three basic shapes. Name one. Cockle. Yes, and that's good for 20. Now, name another. Squeamus? Say again? Squeamus? No, it's rod-like or bacillus or curved spirillium, spirochet or vibrio. A Proverbs question now. Fill in the blank for you, Mallory and, or Jones and team. Actions speak louder than? Words. Words is right. For another 20, brings you to 135. You're filling in the blank now, Mallory. All good things come to those who? Wait. Wait is good. You're up to 100, 135 for Jones and Company. I have a famous Old Testament biblical duo question for you now, Mallory. Team from Lawrence County, Solomon's parents. He was a king. She was Uriah's wife, whom the king had killed in battle. 
Who is that Old Testament biblical duo? No answer. Okay. Jones? No answer. It's David and Bathsheba. Your biblical question now for the duos. Isaac's parents. The father was 100. The mother was 99 when she gave birth. Sarah and Abraham. Right. Good for another 20. Brings you to 155. Now, I'll stay with you for U.S. states postal abbreviations. Take the postal abbreviation of Pennsylvania and Idaho. Put them together in that order and give me the four-letter word. Pint? No. Mallory? Paid. Paid is right. Another 20 for you. Now, your U.S. state's postal abbreviations take the postal abbreviation of Hawaii and North Dakota. Put them together in that order and give me the four-letter word. Hand. No. Jones? Hind. Hind is right. And that was the last question I have. We'll check that score and see who wins when IQ returns. This IQ broadcast has been brought to you in part by River Cities Builders, ANA Porta Potties, Kentucky Farmers Bank, Stoltz Pharmacy in Greetup, and McDonald Pharmacy in South Shore, First and People's Bank, Large Pump and Shops of the Tri State, Moorhead State University, Tri State Area Food Fairs, Dutch Miller Automotive, and Members Choice Credit Union with funding provided by the Wing to Wing Foundation. The Professor and Stephanie, weekday mornings from 6 to 10. MJ McKay, middays 10 to 2. Ernie G. Anderson, weekday afternoons from 2 to 6. Jim Forrest, evenings from 6 to 9. Dwayne Elliott, weeknights 9 to midnight. And the greatest songs of all times play here on Cool Hits 105.7. For those on the go. The Smoothie Connoisseur the break room favorite. And for those that just never quite have it all, Clark's has what you need to keep your day on track. Make life easier and keep your busy schedule moving forward with everything you need at Clark's. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. Thank you and welcome back to IQ here on the Tri-State CW. Our final score, boy, is a good one there in the uh, Stump the Experts round. 175 to 120 in favor of Ironton. So we'll see you both next week since we're doing double elimination. And Ernie G. Anderson reminding you to adopt a spayed or neutered pet for a lifetime of love. God bless you. We'll see you next week here on the Tri-State's IQ.